Good day grade twos and welcome to mathematics. If you have any questions or concerns regarding today's lesson, please feel free to email me at teachnarisha at gmail.com. So for today, first let's count from 1 to 50 and back, in twos to 50 and back, in multiples of 5 to 50 and back, and in multiples of 10 to 50 and back. And then you can count from number 26 to 50 and back to number 26. So today open your book on the new page, write today's day, Monday, and 2501-2021, seeing that this is mathematics. Then we can start with the mental maths. So first we have to order from big to small. So we find the biggest number, right, look for the next biggest number, right. Then we must order from small to big, and then please write the number names for 4 and 7, as we already practiced this on Monday and Tuesday. Then make use of your Unifix blocks. As you don't have them at home, you can draw this on your whiteboard and send a picture. So show 8 units, 5 units, 3 units, 7 units, and 2 units. So with the first one, you're going to draw 8 unifix cubes so just eight squares remember if they are not a full color of 10 we do not put them on top of each other only if we have 10 blocks of the same color do we put them on top of each other because this is a tens block and these are only units so 10 units make a 10 block next we have to do the fact family houses so after you are done with your mental maths Pause, and then we continue to the fact family houses. Now that you're done with your mental maths, today's fact families, we are going to look at the number 7. We're going to look at the number bond 6 and 1, and 7 and 0. So I'm going to help you with the first one, and the second one you do on your own. So we say 6 plus 1 equals 7. That also means that 1 plus 6 equals equals 7. Then we can say 7 take away 6 equals 1 and 7 take away 1 equals 6. Copy this into your book and then you continue with 7 with the number bonds of 7 and 0. So welcome to today's lesson where we are going to look at ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers tell us in which position an object is in a line or in a series. So for instance, here we have 10 objects. We have a pot of flowers, a car, a butterfly, a ball, a doll, a dog, a cat, a little army man, a barbie and a boat. So when we work with ordinal numbers, we want to know who is first, who is last, who is third, etc. But how do we figure this out? Yes, you can count, but it's easy to lose place. So we number them underneath. So we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we know there are 10 objects and each object has a number. So the dog is number 6 and the ball is number 4. And the same applies to the rest of the objects. Now, we look at the flowers first. The flowers are number one. Therefore, we say they are first in line and we write it as F-I-R-S-T or F-I-R-S-T. And then we write one and st to say first. Next, we have the car who is number two. He is second. S-E-K or N-T, second. And therefore, we write two and a nd. Make sure of the spelling with second. Next, we have the butterfly. She is number three. Therefore, we say she is third. This sound, t and her, makes third. And we write three and a rd. Next, we have the ball. The ball is number four. So we say the ball is fourth in line. So it's r. And we say four. Next, we have the doll. She is number five. So she is fifth in line. Take a look at the spelling. E, five, and then a th to say fifth. Next, we have the dog. 
He is number six in line, so we spell E X six, and we write a six. And it's next we have the cat. She is number seven, so we write A A seven, and we write a seven and a to showcase seven. Next we have the army man. He is number eight, so we write eight and then we add the her, or you can say we write A E A E. G -h and we say a eight in line. Next we have a doll. She is number nine, so we write n e n ninth ninth ninth. And lastly we have the boat. Boat is number ten, so we say ten t e n tenth in line. Now that you understand how ordinal numbers work and how we write each number in its position, for instance, 10, then you are 10th. Next, we're going to move on to the activity. So, we are going to color in the scoops. From first is going to be at the bottom and 10th is going to be at the top. So, we work from the bottom to the top. Because how do you put ice cream on a cone? You can't put an ice cream scoop in the middle of the air. No, you always start at the bottom. So, this will be number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, color the first scoop blue. Remember, we are starting at the bottom. Color the ninth scoop orange, the third scoop orange, second scoop red, fourth scoop blue, eighth scoop red, tenth scoop blue, fifth scoop red, sixth scoop orange, seventh scoop blue. And then tell us what pattern you noticed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson. Please remember to complete your work, take your time. If you struggle, re-watch the video and take sure that make sure that you understand the spelling and how ordinal numbers work. Please visit the website or our YouTube channel or our Facebook page for more information, or you can always call the school on 084-239-6030 if you have any other questions. Hope you guys have a lovely day further. Bye!